Look, if you're anything like me, you love a good shortcut. Welcome back to the channel, my friends. I'm gonna share a quick tip with you in the Fairlight part of DaVinci Resolve today that's gonna save you time and energy. Look, if you do any kind of repetitive editing, so in my case, I do talking heads and moto vlogs. In your case, it might be talking heads and something else. I don't know. Either way, if you do any kind of repetitive stuff, you're gonna want to use this shortcut, all right? It is Fairlight Presets, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, and we're gonna do a couple of demos of it. So let's hop into Resolve and get started. Here we are, I got a brand new project, nothing going on. First thing I'm gonna do is show the stack timelines. That'll come in handy in a minute. We have no timelines. So I'm going to create a new timeline, and timeline one is fine. And you can see, use Fairlight Preset. You won't see this yet because you don't have any setup yet, but you will see that in the future. And we're just gonna create a brand new timeline and we're gonna rename Audio One to Voice. And then maybe you want some music on the second track and you want sound effects on the third track. Boom, we've got three audio tracks set up. So let's say that you're using Clarity like I do. I'm gonna put it on here and jack it up to 62.5%. And let's say you wanna use the dialogue processor and you wanna set it to the same things I do. We've set that up. And just for fun, just so you know I'm not reusing anything, we'll grab distortion and put that on. And we'll leave it on, oh, lo-fi radio. There you go. And just for fun, let's put a flanger on the music. Yeah, we'll just do that, default, that's good. So that's all set up. So now we have in our inspector, if you don't see it, click inspector over here. You can see we have effects, there's a flanger there, and we have clarity, dialogue processor, and distortion. And it doesn't really matter what effects you're using and, and whatever, but it will remember the settings for each of those plugins. So that 62.5% on uh, clarity, yeah, we're gonna come back to that in just a minute. But now we're gonna to go to our Fairlight tab, the musical note icon, and in our voice, which is A1 here, it says voice down here, we're gonna double click EQ, and we know that we're using a specific microphone, and we wanna use the same thing I do with the Rode Video Micro, right? We've got our equalizer set up, boom, done. So now we're ready to apply the magic. Yes, we're gonna get that started. We're gonna click on Fairlight, Presets Library, and it's got equalizer presets and all sorts of stuff. But what we wanna do is come to Fairlight Configuration Presets, and I have two. So I'm gonna hit Save New, and I wanna create a new one. We're gonna call it Demo, because I'm demoing it for you. And now we have three of them. How neat is that, right? So then we can close this out, come back here to our Edit tab, go to the Media Pool, Timeline 1. Press the Delete key, delete the selected timeline, yes. Now we have no timeline. Control N to create a new one. Timeline one, we're gonna call it demo timeline. And we're gonna click use Fairlight preset. And then demo is selected. We can select any of these three that are there and an empty timeline. We'll just hit create. And then you'll see we have voice, music, and sound effects. And if I click on voice and then come over to effects, clarity, VX stereo, 62.5. And if I come back to the Fairlight tab, you can see we have our equalizer preset on our A1 track, which is voice. How handy is that? Is that not too cool or what? Let me show you how I've got mine set up real quick. So if I control in to create a new timeline, use Fairlight preset, choose Moto Vlog, hit create. You can see that I've got voice, off bike, music, music two, and sound effects. So it does work to select the different ones. And if we go back into our Fairlight tab, we go back to Fairlight Presets Library, it's still set on Fairlight Configuration Presets. I can click the Delete button on the demo one because I don't need it anymore. And while we're in here, we deleted the other one, but if you click Save New, you can create new or update the current one that was selected. So this makes it so if you make a change, and you're like, oh, I really wanna keep doing this in the future, you just click update and it will update it. How cool is that? I know, it's only a couple of minutes per video, but that's a couple of minutes not spent setting something up and doing a repetitive 
task, which to me is very valuable. I know that all my plugins are gonna be set up, all the settings are gonna be right, so it's drag the footage in and just get to editing. That other part is already done for me. So anyway, that's this video. I know, a short one today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, boop the like button. And don't forget the two mantras and watch that video. Yes, watch this one next. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day. Maybe it's learning some more shortcuts for your video editing software. Hopefully it's resolved. Leave a comment below with what video editing software you use. Bye.